In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can change the behavior of a PIP object once it completes its animation cycle. I have on the screen a video clip on track number one, and what I'd like to do is take that and overlay it with a PIP object. So let's assume we want an object that we have currently in our PIP room. I can click on the third icon down or press the F5 key. Now here are all the ones that I have available in my copy of PowerDirector. I'm just going to take the Blooming 2 and drag it down to track number 2. And if I highlight it and click on the timer above the timelines, I notice that the default duration of the clip is 5 seconds. And we also know, that if you look carefully at it, that it does have an opacity green line on it, which has been keyed. So now it is full opacity up to here, and then it slides down and becomes fully transparent at the end. And if we play it, that's exactly what we'll see. So let's click on Movie, and we'll play the clip. There it comes in. It blooms, fades out slowly, and is gone. But what if we want this to be on the screen longer than the default 5 seconds? I'm going to highlight the clip and arbitrarily drag it by clicking on the left mouse button and making it much longer. We'll make it at least double the normal length. Now we notice if we play this we won't see a difference and that's because of the opacity. It turns it to zero and after that point it stays invisible. So what we're going to have to do to illustrate the options is actually take the keyframing and turn these back to 100%. So now if we play it beyond our 5 second mark, we'll see the default behavior. And here, the default behavior is to loop. That's exactly what it will do. But that's not the only option I have. Let me show you some others. I'm going to click on that PIP object and then click on the Designer option above the timeline and choose PIP Designer. That will open up my PIP Designer screen. Now I'm going to right click on the image, the PNG here, and then I have one option that says After Image Sequence Ends and it gives me four options. Now the default is to loop the playback. That's what we've been seeing. Let's see what happens when we click on Freeze on First Frame and click on OK. So we'll move back and we'll play part of this. It's moving through and then it freezes on the first frame. But the first frame, if we're careful, has nothing in it. It's blank. So it looks like it's turning transparent when really it's freezing on the first frame. In this case, the first frame shows nothing. So I'm going to click on it again. Do Designer and Pip Designer. We'll right click again. And now we'll choose Freeze on Last Frame. And click OK. So now as we play this, we see it gets larger. And then at the end, it freezes on the screen. So this is behaving just the way we might expect. Let's look at the other option. I'm going to highlight it again, go to Designer, Pip Designer, and right click again. After Image, we have another option is Stop Playback. I'm going to click on OK, and let's see what happens there. When I stop the playback, it's as though it, it was cut right here at the original length. Nothing else is visible on the screen. So it's full screen all the way up into the original length, and then it stopped the playback. So no matter how long I make this, I will not see that pip object after the five second original mark. So those are the ways in which you can modify what happens in a PIP object if you have it on the screen longer than the default length of time.